hello and welcome to Travel Shots Live. I bring you on the ground footage, unedited, raw video. Today's topic is why I left America. As you can see, I'm actually sitting in Jerez, Albania, on a lovely restaurant right on the water. I've got people all around me and I'm having a uh, macchiato. <laughs> Um, which is two dollars. It's 200 left for about two dollars American. But where else can you go for a two dollar coffee right on the beach? I mean, come on. Which brings me to the topic of why I left America. There's actually a few reasons, so we're going to get into that discussion. First of all, backdrop. I am currently 54 years old. When I was 53 last year, um, I planned on traveling the world. And actually, it was 10 years in the making, and I wanted to see everything, do everything. You know what I mean. And um, I was like, well, shit. You know, I have a young kid. I have two. I have a grown daughter and a grown son, but my son is six years younger than my daughter. So I technically had to wait until my son turned 18. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna save up my money and I'm gonna go and leave and travel. But I had a decision to make. I was like, okay, when he turned 18, um, and I had him set, you know, a place to live, a job, etc., and I felt comfortable leaving him, I was thinking, well, you know, I could stay, I could stick it out for two more years and collect my pension. Because the job I left, I was there for over 20 years. I was grandfathered in, it was an insurance company. And I was one of the very lucky last ones to gather a pension. It's only $800 a month, but it's something anyway. And uh, I was like, yeah, I could stick it out for another two years, or I could just go, because I could cash out my 401k and I can go. I have enough money that I could travel on for a couple years. So, um, I was thinking to myself, do I really want to stay at this job another two years? Do I want to stick it out another 12 until I actually retire? Or do I want to go and travel now? And then as things were getting more expensive in the United States, I was like, you know, I really don't want to stay. I mean, things are getting outrageously expensive. Um, after COVID hit, you know, I was working in a QB in an office. And then when COVID hit, they sent us home to work from home. So that was nice. But then after a year, they got their shit together and they figured out how to trace your clicks, you know, your mouse clicks. And if you weren't clicking every three minutes, the boss was on the horn, hey, what are you doing? You know, shit like that. So they were really starting to buckle down and micromanage. So I was like, I really don't want to do this anymore. It's like, you know, this company is not what it was 20 years ago or even 10 years ago. And I get it, technology and advancement, but I can't deal with a boss breathing down my neck. I can't even use a bathroom without asking permission anymore. So I felt like I was just chained in my house. And I couldn't do anything or go anywhere. And I thought, well, once my young kid leaves, what am I gonna do? Just sit in this house 24 seven, working and just living in this little box of an apartment and then maybe go into the bar to have a drink on the weekends and then that's my life, you know? And I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm leaving. I'm taking the chance and I'm going. And, you know, and besides that, the American culture is just so toxic. It's just not for me, man. I just felt like I didn't fit in. You know, you've got all this feminism going on and racism and all these other isms. And it's just, it's not cool anymore. And besides that, it's, like I said, I mean, I was, I was spending, and I'm not no big big earner. I mean, after 20 years working at an insurance company, I was lucky to make 50000 a year. And that took me 20 years to get to that point. And even then, at $3,500 a month, raising my kid, I was scraping by. I was barely making it and putting money away to save and paying off my debt. So, with me actually being on the road full-time, I slow travel, I'm saving money. <laughs> 
ironically enough, you know, with no car, no gas, no insurance on a car, I get around just by using rideshare apps or a train or a bus or, you know, an airplane. I'm only spending $1,300 a month to live on the road. And that's my Airbnb, my food, and tra ground transportation, and then maybe, you know, an excursion here and there if it's within the budget. So it's cheaper for me to live on the road than it actually is to live in the United States. And that is the reason I left. As they say, you leave the matrix. And I've already been on the year over, I've been on the road over a year and I don't see myself ever going back. I mean, the only reason I'm going back is to visit my children. And then I'm like, when's the next flight? Because, <laughs> you know, I'm not sticking around and I'm going to make this work. And that brings me to the thing is like, you know, if you've got online digital skills, you can definitely make it work. You can, um, like what I do, started a YouTube channel and you can go ahead and use your skills to build an online business. Um, and that's what I plan. That's what I'm doing and I plan to monetize and I'm very close. And for all of you that have subscribed and that are watching, I thank you. We're almost at a thousand, like as of today, we're at 999 subscribers. So we're this close. But I thank all of you because without you, this channel would not be possible. So those are the reasons I left America. What would be the reasons you leave America? Drop me a comment and let me know. Like, share, subscribe, all the goody goody stuff. And if you didn't like it, hey, thumbs down. I don't care. It's all good. It's all up to you. So, all I want to say is love yourself, do the best thing that you can do for yourself, and travel. Peace out.